Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter for this 30 days of WrestleMania. We're getting so close to the end on this. It's WrestleMania 29, and this one is uh, I'm very partial to because this is the one WrestleMania I got to attend way up there in the nosebleed seats, um, and it was a lot of fun here in New York. It's very cold, if I recall. Very, very cold. We were very happy when The Undertaker uh, fire happened. Um, but no, this was a fun one, and, and this is actually the first time I went back to watch through this in its entirety um on this from this angle because i you know again attending it before and i didn't really go back and watch it yet um and uh and, and i really liked uh the feel of this uh in comparison to the other ones um i love the set I, it, it 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 felt huge um their giant statue of liberty on the set um and and again kind of looking back at the uh uh, Undertaker, CM Punk, uh, you know, of course, Triple H or Brock Lesnar, you know, getting a little bit more of the story than I got that first time around, you know, it really does kind of help that out. And um, it was a lot of fun and, you know, very much an end of the era. And we talked about on these other shows about kind of seeing um, the culmination of a storyline. We talked about uh, on the last one for WrestleMania 28, how Rock and uh, Cena was this three-year storyline that we conducted at uh, WrestleMania and how Shawn Michaels, Triple H, and Taker was a four-year storyline, more or less, uh, in comparison. But uh, and also seeing uh, the shield, you know, kind of in this context, then like this was their first kind of uh, WrestleMania kind of homecoming and very dominant against some very established guys um, altogether. A very nice, very nice uh, uh, deal there uh, uh, for WrestleMania 29 coming back to New York. Big representation and seeing how because I know it, it felt kind of weird because, you know, kind of being the out of uh, stater on this one, because they really started it with um, the governor there in New Jersey talking about uh, Hurricane Sandy. Um, which yeah, was a really interesting start to WrestleMania. Um, and uh, see how that came off kind of in comparison. Oh, and also seeing P, P. Diddy's uh, performance, because that's when I went to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> but all together, I think it's one of my, uh, uh, you know, very partial, but one of my favorite WrestleManias because of, uh, you know, a lot of stuff going on. And of course, the last appearance of CM Punk at a WrestleMania um, and tremendous match. And I remember how great that buildup was of CM Punk and then seeing that and then seeing Brock Lesnar have his come up this, the next year after both his guys going down to him and Triple H. I forgot Triple H was a career match as well. And of course, the ending of the uh, John Cena and uh, and uh, Rock. And uh, it makes you wonder, where, where are we going to see next? When's Rocky going to come back again? Who against? If uh, if at all, you know it will be. You know it will be sooner or later, right? Maybe another five years, right? Whenever, whenever he wants to. But uh, but that's it. WrestleMania 29, let me know your thoughts of it. Like I said, very partial. Very partial myself. But uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, at Sogertron on the Twitter, at Mayhem Show, or WrestlingMayhemShow.com. This and so many other videos. Please subscribe to YouTube and everything else we got going on. See you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.